through the digital strategy um, committee that is being set up to ensure that the gains that we are enjoying in Ghana through digitization are spread throughout the sub-region. It is not enough to just be doing the right thing here. Ghana is on track to be one of the most digitalized countries on the continent. We want to utilize technology to leapfrog development and showcase what we're doing to the rest of the sub-region. I've got two final quick questions for you, two final questions. Uh, first of all, it's about the financial sector cleanup. And a lot of people have talked about the job losses. For um, a government that promised to create lots of jobs, unfortunately, it appears this cleanup exercise has uh, led to a lot more job losses uh, and a lot of difficulties for people who have lost their monies. How do you respond to this? If the cleanup hadn't occurred, 4.5 million depositors would have lost all their, their deposits. And so you need to balance it and look at what would have happened if those actions hadn't been taken. And it is better to cut open a wound, clean it up, pour out the pus, and put in medicine to promote healing. The financial sector was full of pus. It was decaying. Right under the watch of the previous administration, measures were taken which were unsustainable, which would have left to the entire collapse of our economy. Sometimes it is better to cut your losses to ensure that you have a more sustainable future going forward. That's exactly what this government has done. So yes, some jo jobs were lost, but a lot more will be created who, which are more sustainable in the long term. You and I would have the satisfaction of knowing that our financial sector has been put on a sound footing and is able to finance our development. What we were doing was chasing a mirage. It was unsustainable. The, lead, the managers and, and directors of these organizations were robbing Ghanaians blind. 4.5 million would have lost their life savings. It is better to cut our losses and ensure that those depositors' incomes are protected and everybody gets their money in a phased manner. And these banks are also um, preserved instead of the entire sector collapsing. It's easy to focus on the negatives without looking at the positives, but without that, the alternative would have been way too scary to contemplate. Very finally, uh, the, the, the sector within which you, you control, the telecoms industry, I've recently had a conversation with the telecoms chamber, and they seem to suggest that uh, the industry has over the years uh, been a cash cow for government. Essentially, they feel they are being taxed, they're overly being taxed. Secondly, on the issue of mobile money and the fact that there were earlier hints by yourself that there was going to be a possibility of taxing mobile money. They, they have said that that should never happen. Is that I don't like people putting words in my mouth when I have never ever said anywhere that mobile money will be taxed. What I have said and will continue to repeat is that the revenues that these mobile money operators are making from transaction fees should be taxed. There are two different things. For every transaction, 1% is paid by the sender, 1% is paid by the recipient. They're earning 2% of transaction fees on every transaction. Government is not earning one peswa from all the revenues they are making from that sector. I am of the opinion that every entity working in this country and earning revenue ought to pay taxes on the revenue earned from their businesses in this country. And that includes, that includes the mobile money operators. I have never said anywhere that you and I are going to be taxed for using mobile money. That has never been what I have indicated. And there are two clear things. So let them tell me that they are paying revenues on the, the they are paying taxes on the revenue they earn. Then we can have that conversation. But nobody should put words in my mouth, set their own questions and answer it. Finally, were you able to have that incorporated into the 2020 budget, uh, the tax on transactions? Not in this budget. But like, as I indicated, it is an ongoing conversation, and I have no doubt that we'll get to that point very soon. If I had the uh, duty of imposing taxes, you'd have seen it in the budget. Unfortunately, I don't. I can only present the evidence of how much they're earning on these transactions to the GRA and the Finance Ministry, and they take the requisite steps in that direction. And tomorrow, I'll be presenting the results of the common platform um, 
since its establishment to the world. And this will be a key feature of the findings that we have made. Thank you very much, ma'am.